Konnichiwa, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I'm super excited to speak to you about Gemma 2 on the Jetson device, because this reminds me of when NVIDIA hired me. Before I was working at IBM Research in New York on quantum computing, and in February 2019, OpenAI launched the first public GPT model. It was GPT-2, 117 million parameters model, and two days after, I put it online. I created a website where you can send questions and you get answers. Is this familiar to you? So yes, this was the first GPT of the world. And it was running on a very old Jetson, on a Jetson NX. This is the Nano Orin, much more advanced. I also put, it, I also put some GPUs because we had some, some traffic on the, on the server. But yes, that was the first GPT on the world. And it was running on a very small device, on a Jetson NX. So I'm going to show you how you can do this in only three minutes. But in this case, I'm going to use Gemma 2 on the Jetson Nano Orin with 8 gigabytes. So let's see how it is, how, how easy it is to launch. Please video. So this is the developer kit. This is how you receive a developer kit. And it doesn't have anything inside. So if you want to, to flash it, first, you will need to install a hard disk. In this case, I'm going to use an NVMe hard disk. I'm going, to I'm going to plug it to the computer. I'm going to launch the SDK manager from NVIDIA. And I need to do a small hack to flash it. All these devices usually have a recovery mode. So I'm going to, put, uh, I'm going to do a short circuit between two pins there with a the screwdriver. I'm going to remove the power, put the power back. Then this is going to be detected directly on my machine. I accept everything. And then I select the NVMe to flash the, the hard disk. This is going to take like half an hour, one hour, take a coffee in the meantime. And the installation is complete. So I'm going to use, this is a device. This is not a laptop. It's a, it's a device with a screen and a keyboard. And I'm going to use the Jetson as the CPU. So I connect it to the device. In fact, I'm using a battery because the Jetson is, is very, very power efficient. It's not connected to the, to, the, to the current in this case. And I'm going to do the typical process when you start from scratch with an operative system. I'm going to do the APT upgrade. I'm going to install CUDA. I'm going to export the paths. And I'm going to install, in this case, Llama CPP. You can do also the same with Gemma CPP. I'm using Llama, but feel free to use Gemma. Some people from Google tell me that Gemma CPP works better, so you should try. And uh, well, I built Gemma. You can take a coffee in the meantime because it's 15 minutes, kind of. I download Chrome. I download the Hugging Face model. So I go to the Hugging Face website. I download, in this case, I'm going to use the 4-bit quantization model, the small one. So I'm going to move it to the download folder. Then I'm going to move it to the models folder in Llama. And I'm going to launch a test. This is a benchmark. So I launch Llama CLI. I'm going to say, OK, what is the meaning of life? The typical test. This is real time now. So this is the speed. It's quite fast. It's faster than the, the speed I'm speaking right now. And it's doing like 14 tokens per second. Really good for this device. Um, I'm going to launch now the server because I want to have an interface, like the ChatGPT interface on, a, on the website. So I'm going to launch it this localhost. I'm going to go to the new UI, which is really nice, by the way, to use. And I'm going to say, hey, how are you doing? I'm new to Tokyo. I want to explore the city. I want to eat some sushi, for example. So Gemma 2 is going to reply to me, hey, some delicious go to, go to the Tsukiji fish market. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's it. And it's going to give me some options. I, can, I, I was trying the, the skills, and I'm going to ask, OK, how can I go here? from Google HQ Sibuya. And he's doing a very good job. Kind of, he's kind of doing a Google Maps job. So Gemma 2 is performing really well on this device. OK. So let's see something more advanced. Uh, let's imagine you want to launch a home assistant here, or a voice assistant. So I'm going to do an example. I'm going to show you later the code. Yeah, you will be able to download it in 80 lines of Python code. I'm going to use Whisper, Ra, so we can have some extra context, and Piper text-to-speech. Please video. Let me know if you have any other questions. I want to go and eat some sushi in Tokyo. That sounds delicious. Would you like me to help you find a good sushi restaurant in Tokyo? I want to know more about the Jetson Nano and how can it be integrated with Google? The Jetson Nano is a great device for Edge AI. You can integrate it with Google's AI platform via APIs and SDKs. For more details, check out the NVIDIA Jetson documentation and Google's AI platform documentation. 
So it works really well for 80 lines of Python code. So you can, you can make probably something even more advanced in a few more lines. OK, and this is to push the limits of the hardware, OK? So I'm going to launch a multi-agent system here. So I'm going to launch two servers speaking each other in different ports, two Gemas, Gemma and Gemo, with different personalities, in only eight gigabytes of RAM. So please video. So this is one of the Llama servers with Gemma. This is the other one, 8080 and 8082. I'm going to show you how much memory I'm using. Only 5.7 gigabytes. So still you have place to do something. You have some kind of vision uh, algorithm. So I'm going to give different personalities. One is going to be a creative uh, LLM, and the other one is going to be an analytical LLM. And you can create a conversation. You can go sleep and put Gemma to, to think during the night, and you can get a conclusion maybe in your morning. I added also a, a web interface, so you can check uh, what they have been speaking about, which is quite interesting. You can have some kind of uh, yeah, like uh, AI speaking during the night here, and you can check the conversation next day, which is uh, really fun. OK, so if you want the, if you want the code, uh, tomorrow I'm going to publish on my LinkedIn article about this event. I'm going to publish also the link to, to GitHub with all the code. I'm going to try to make it easy. And also because I am from NVIDIA, I am the, the hardware company. I have hardware everywhere. So I have hardware even in my pocket. Look, another Jetson, OK. <laughs> So yeah, I have more, but I cannot show you what is, what is the 4090. But OK, um, so if any of you wants to organize something around Jetson and Gemma, please let me know, because this one can, can be for you, OK? A hackathon, whatever. So ping me in the happy hour, and see you later. Arigato gozaimasu.